Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So our topic for this video is on how to design Adobe Rainforest Beam. Okay. So without any further ado, let's now start to design this beam. A simply supported beam with 6 meters span and 300 mm wide has an effective depth of 470 mm. Design the number of reinforcing bars to support dead load of 36 kilonewton per meter and live load of 50 kilonewton per meter. Use FY is equal to 414 megapascal and F prime C is equal to 28 megapascal. Okay? So to start, kailangan natin makuha yung factor uh, load using uh, the combination 1.2 of dead load and 1.6 of live load. Okay? And then substitute the given values. This will give us 123.2 kilonewton per meter. Okay? So, meron na tayong factored load. Uh, pwede na natin makuha yung ultimate moment using uh, the formula of the simply supported beam which is the factor load multiplied by L squared over 8. Okay? And then substituting the given values, this will give us 554.4 kilonewton meter. Okay? So, meron na tayong ultimate moment. Kailangan natin makuha yung nominal moment Okay, and nominal moment is equal to uh, MU or the ultimate moment divided by 0.9.9 siya kasi i-design natin itong beam as a uh, tension controlled. So, pag tension controlled, ang reduction factor natin is 0.9. Okay, and then MN is equal to 616 kilonewton meter. Okay, so ang unang gagawin natin, i-check natin kung kakayanin ng singly reinforced beam lang itong 616 kilonewton meter natin. Okay? So, considering the singly reinforced beam, drawing muna natin yung strain and stress diagram nila. Okay? So, ito na yung strain diagram and then ang, ang equivalent stress diagram niya. Okay? So, ang kailangan makuha natin muna ngayon is yung the maximum steel, uh, steel natin na pwedeng ilagay using a singly reinforced beam. Okay? So, kailangan natin makuha yung steel ratio which is the raw max for the singly reinforced beam. Okay? So, derive muna natin yung formula using this uh, this uh, the T is equal to C. Okay? So, uh, 0.85 of F prime C A B is equal to A S F Y and then wala pa tayong value ng A and then uh, we can substitute value of A using the value of C. Okay? And then the A is equal to beta 1C and C using this uh, uh, ratio and proportion of a triangle considering 0 0.003 dito sa concrete natin. And then dito sa steel naman natin, sabi nga natin, hindi design natin siya as a tension control. So pag tension control, this should be uh, equal or above 0 0.005. So ginamit natin is 0 0.005. Okay? And then, substitute natin ang C dito. And then, ang A dito. This will give us this equation. Okay? And then, dun sa D, dito, yun sa AS, i-divide natin siya ng BD. This will give us this one. Okay? Then, yung FY, binaba natin dito. Okay? And ASBD is the row maximum. Okay? Row maximum kasi siya. Kasi nga, kinonsider na natin dito as 0.0. 0 0.5 okay and then that will give us the value of raw max is equal to 0 0.0183 okay so mayroon na tayong raw max we can now compute the maximum steel using the single reinforced beam okay and then substitute that will give us the maximum area of steel considering single reinforced beam is equal to 2583.72 mm okay so para ma-compute natin yung strength or the the mn produced by the singly reinforced beam kakailanganin muna natin ng ng a kasi meron na tayong value ng as1 ng fy kailangan lang natin ng a kasi meron tayong d uh, a ang wala pa okay so to compute meron using this two equation okay substitute ang kulang ang variable na lang natin is a and that will give us 149.81 mm. Okay? So, pwede na natin makompute yung uh, mn uh, produced nito. And then, tawagin natin siyang as mn1. Okay? So, as1, fy, d less a over 2, this moment arm. And then, substitute. That will give us the value of 
422.61 kN. Meter. Okay, kung napansin natin, that is below sa hinahanap nga natin na, na nominal uh, strength of 616. Okay, so since below siya, it, we will design it as doubly reinforced beam or kakailanganin natin ng additional reinforcing bar. Okay, and then, so the difference nito ng MN and M1, kailangan natin makuha, okay, but before, uh, ito yung uh, strain and the stress uh, diagram naman using the the doubly reinforced beam okay so this will the mn2 or the considering the steel to steel moment is equal to this one kung ano yung una natin yung nominal natin ibawas natin yung moment produced by the single reinforced beam okay that will give us the 193.39 kN meter. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ito yung kailangang i-produce nitong uh, itong steel to steel natin na na, na na design. Okay? In addition dito sa uh, single reinforced beam natin. Okay? So, from there, uh, kailangan natin makumpute yung uh, the value of the F prime S natin or the stress natin dito sa compression steel. Okay? So, uh, kailangan so para ma-compute to, kailangan natin makuha ang ang strain natin muna dito sa sa compression steel natin. Okay? So C is equal to A over beta 1. Since meron na tayong value ng A dito, kailangan natin ma-compute ang C to get this uh, epsilon prime s or the s strain of the compression steel okay makuha natin yun using this uh, ratio and proportion of this triangle okay so value of c and then my a tayo that will give us c is equal to 176.25 uh, mm okay and then using the ratio and proportion of a triangle okay that this one c less 60 over C, and then multiplied by 0 0.003, substitute natin yung value ng C, that will give us uh, the strain of the compression still is 0 0.00198 okay, so that is below the uh, yield strain of 0 0.00207 for uh, 414 mega pascal okay, so kung below siya uh, kailangan, ibig sabihin hindi siya, yung steel, hindi siya nag -yield. Okay? So, hindi siya nag -yield. Kailangan natin makuha yung yung stress produced lang dito. Okay? Hindi, since hindi niya naabot, hindi niya maaabot yung 414 since hindi siya nag -yield. Okay? So, 0.00198 multiplied by 200,000 that will give us 395.74 mega Pascal, okay? Ibig sabihin, in 395.74, hindi niya naabot yung 414 megapascal, okay? So, ibig sabihin, in 395.74 lang ang magagamit niya, crack na yung compression concrete natin. Okay? So, yun yun, hindi niya magagamit yung buong yield stress niya. Okay? So, kung meron na tayong prime S, we can now compute the nominal uh, the nominal stress okay using a uh, a prime s multiplied a multiplied by by the stress in the compression steel times d less d prime so ito yon okay so mer i think meron naman na tayo nitong nominal is nominal moment na na, na kailangang i-produce considering this uh, doubly reinforced beam na or that the steel to steel force okay which is this one okay 193 and meron na tayong f prime s 395 and d meron tayo for 470 and d prime is 60 okay so mag moment tayo dito sa t para makuha to okay and the m mn2 nominal moment 2 is equal to 193.39 so ang ano natin is the the area of the steel in the compression zone. Okay, so area of the steel is equal to 
mm squared. Okay, so kung meron na tayo niyan, we can now compute the area of steel sa tension zone. Okay, sa total area of steel sa tension zone, which is equal to AS1, which is, ang AS1 natin is this one. Okay, yung nakuha natin na maximum kanina considering the singly reinforced beam and AS2, kailangan natin i-compute ang AS2. AS2 is not equal to a, uh, the area of the steel in the compression zone. Why? Kasi dito, hindi niya nagamit yung buong lakas niya which is dito sa tension naman natin is magagamit niya yung buong lakas niya. Okay, so AS2 is equal to uh, this one, A prime S multiplied by by the F prime S over Fy. Okay? So, may reduction siya. Mabawasan natin to Since dito sa, sa tension zone natin is uh, gamit naman yung buong lakas nga na Fy. Okay? And then, substitute natin. 1191.9 multiplied by 395.74 over 414. That will give us uh, 1139.33 mm squared. Kung napansin natin, bumaba nga. Okay? Bumaba nga siya. Okay. Now, meron na tayong AS2. Pwede na natin makuha ang AS total sa uh, tension zone. Okay? And then, substitute natin yung AS2 dito. Okay? And AS1 is ito. That will give us uh, 3723.05 mm squared. Okay? So, the, so, meron na tayong area nitong compression steel. Meron na tayong area ng total sa sa tension zone uh, pwede na natin makuha kung ilang rebar okay so compute natin in, in sa ang rebar number of rebar sa tension uh, tension zone okay let's try 4 na 30 mm and 2 na 25 mm and ang total niyan is equal to 3809.18 which is equal which is greater than sa required natin na 3723.05 okay so so we can use 4 pieces na 30 mm diameter and 2 pieces 25 mm diameter okay now uh, proceed naman tayo sa compression zone or sa compression steel natin which is this one uh, the area of the steel is 1191.9 uh, let's try to use 20 mm and then 1191.9 divide the area of the 20 mm rebar that will give us uh, 3.79 say 3 pieces naman nagagamitin natin sa uh, compression na uh, steel natin okay so ang design natin in summarize natin is this one okay so mer sa compression meron tayong 4 pieces na 20 mm galing dito and then sa tension naman natin meron tayong 4 pieces na 30 mm Itong apat na to. And then, 2 pieces na 25 mm diameter, this one. So, ang effective depth niyan is the centroid of this rebar. Ang centroid nitong tension rebar natin is, is still sa gitna nila. Okay? So, 470. And then, kung i-compute natin, since may mga required tayong spacing, ang magiging total depth natin dyan is 570 mm. Okay? And then, if we try to analyze this one, this will give us uh, PMN is equal to 559.45 kilonewton meter and that is greater than the ang MU natin which is this one 554.4 kilonewton meter so our design is safe okay so i think that's all for this topic and if you have questions clarifications and recommendation you can comment you can comment below for me to consider okay so feel free also to like subscribe and share thank you and keep safe always everyone